Echo Fan Grave Wolf. So, my first video, I want to give a shout out to my man Theo Butler. I asked him if he's read this uh, Marvel fanfare with the Black Panther. It is from the year. I'm going to tell you in a minute, brother. <laughs> if I can get the page to turn. It is from the year 1991. I was still in high school. Um, it's like a one-off. It really doesn't have that much about Black Panther in here. But for those who don't think that Black Panther should be recast, this fanfare is the final fanfare. January 60. It was 225 back then. 270 if you lived in Canada. And it was in 1991 of December. Alright, so January was the last print, I guess. It does say final issue, but I don't think it was the final issue of the stuff. I haven't really picked up a comic since uh, 2010. Now, it only features yay so much of Black Panther. Probably like the first seven or eight pages. And then everything else is about Rogue and Daredevil. Alright, so it's got like three stories in one. No. And um, for the Black Panther story, it is called Big applesauce so again this is for my bro Theo Butler because uh, I'm new to the Black Panther lore I have been a fan I'm just not like a super fan and in this specifically the only reason why I wanted to make sure to ask my bro Theo Butler because the movie didn't do this for the Panther y'all see those eyes those eyes are cool as shit right they're literally like panther eyes. So that's why I wanted to do this for my bro Theo Butler. So let me see how many how many pages is it. So one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. So it's an eight page story. It doesn't really have an ending because after that it goes straight into Rogue and it says the mission. So it's an eight page story and it goes to Rogue after that. And Rogue is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So in the middle, of this like sixteen-page story of Rogue, and then it goes with Daredevil. And Daredevil starts actually on the page. Okay, so Daredevil is like after her last panel. Daredevil's uh the monkey never dies. So he goes one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He has eight pages, and then it finally ends with the Punisher. Daredevil on the back, Black Panther, and Rogue on the front. I just wanted to know if he actually did any of the fanfares. That being said, I'm going to make a separate video after I suit up in that Spider-Man 2099 suit. So, please watch it. That being said, shout out to Theo B. Keep the fighting going. Recast T'Challa. Everybody, hashtag recast T'Challa. Even if you don't like me, T'Challa needs to be recast. Y'all have no idea the importance of this king and stuff. Now, yeah, I'm part native. I'm part native. And Marvel really has any, like, native royalties in there. I'll make a totally different video about that on another day. But for right now, what you fail to understand, this whole thing, for all you people who don't want to recast the child. Alright, look. I'm not the only one. Mr. Butler's not the only one. There's another guy who's got a little bit more follower than both of us. They're pushing this. It needs to push through. We need to recast T'Challa for the simple reason. Alright? 
One, you don't have a lot of black superheroes in the Marvel Universe. I mean, you do, but you don't have a lot of black superheroes that are popular. And I really can't call T'Challa black. I have to call him African because he's not a American citizen. Where your black superheroes are Battlestar, Falcon, a.k.a. the new Captain America. You have Luke Cage. You have Rage. I'm pretty sure none of y'all know who he is. Um, I just missed somebody a second ago. You have Deathlock. Um, for the X-Men, you have Storm and Bishop. Technically, Roberto is from Brazil. It's also mixed. Um, you're very limited on your black superheroes. Or if, if they're not black, they're aliens that look black or something like that. But you don't have a king. Understand this shit. In all of Marvel and DC even, there's only one king. To my knowledge, because I haven't picked up a DC book in forever. I don't know if Image even has kings in their comics. I don't really know if Image even still exists, unless you count King Spawn. But I don't know if he was ever the king. I know he was the king of hell at one time, and I just got told that not too long ago, so just take that with a grain of salt. But when it comes to the king of Wakanda, Wakanda forever, that means something. It means a lot. And we need to have that king. Now, granted, I'm not the best actor. And I probably don't have enough black features, as you can see, my two-toned skin. But we need a king. I'm also too short. But we need the king. Period. King T'Challa is needed. He needs to be recast. So the young black people can have a black hero in the Marvel Universe that is royalty to show other black kids that we have kings you know we have kings that have their own country where there are people who look just like them who don't even leave their country because it's such a utopian country why can't we have that in Marvel why can't we keep that in the MCU why does it have to be variants why can't y'all do what Mr. Butler says and do the Doom War you know have been other um, superheroes that have had surgeries to fix their face. Later, by the power of retconning or movie magic, they fixed it back. And if, for those who don't remember the Knight Rider, the, the original guy that started off before David Hasselhoff was his guy, you know, because he was, he was a different guy and Michael Knight got fucked up and they fixed his face and pretended to be dead and then Michael Knight became Michael Knight, etc., etc. Go back and watch it. We can do that. My next video is going to talk about that in a minute. But I just want you guys to understand. We have to recast T'Challa. There's no ifs, no ands, no buts about it. The Black Panther has to be recast. It has to be. Because black people deserve a hero. And don't worry, I am going to touch on this on native stuff too. But I'm going to get in that suit. Yeah, that one right there. Yeah, with the spikes on his arms. I'm going to get in that suit for my next video. But I wanted you guys to see my face before I suited up. But I also want you to see my heart because a lot of people who don't believe that T'Challa should be recast. I'm an actor. Understand that. I'm not a known actor. I'm not a working actor. God knows that would be great. But I'm not that. But I am an actor. I know how this business works. We never had a problem recasting Spider-Man. There was a TV Spider-Man. Even Japan had a Spider-Man. And then you had Tobey Maguire. And then you had Andrew Garfield. And now you have Tom Holland. Now, what everybody feels to understand, I'm going to do it because we're talking about Black Panther. The two black Spider-Men that I missed. Only one's actually black, and that's Spider-Punk Hobie Brown. I do not know what world he is because in the 616, Hobie Brown is the prowler. Okay? He literally is an anti-hero who used to work for the Kingpin, all right? And he's black. And unfortunately, Hobie Brown in the 616 was a fucking thief, okay? Now, Hobie Brown Spider-Punk, on the other hand, he's a badass, he's a rock star, and he's Spider-Man, okay? 
Technically, he's called Spider Punk, but he's still Spider Man and he's black. He has an afro and he has spikes on his suit, which makes him a bad motherfucker. So, therefore, we have one full black Spider Man, and that's Hobie Brown. Miles Morales is, bit, is mixed. Alright, so one of his parents is black and one of his parents is Latinx, which means they're either Puerto Rican or Mexican or Dominican. I do not know the difference between Dominican and Puerto Rican, but I do know the difference between the Mexican. So, Miguel O'Hara is Mexican and white, or Mexican and Irish. So, therefore, I can pull that off, and I need that job. But this isn't about me. This is about recasting T'Challa. T'Challa needs to be recast. There's no ifs, ands, and buts about it. Why are you going to take the one positive black hero who hasn't had black, black struggles outside of racism? He's a king. He hasn't had any struggles until he left Wakanda. No. Where in America, yeah, you got Falcon. He's black. You got Battlestar. He's black. You have Rage. He's black. You have um, Spider-Punk Kobe Brown. You have Miles Morales. Um, you have Luke Cage. These guys are all black. But the thing that separates T'Challa from them is that he's fucking royalty. And we don't have that in the real world. Why do you have to take it out of the only escape that we have as people of color, as black people? No. Now, again, I'm going to suit up and I'm going to make another video. But I just want you guys to let that sink in on how important it is to recast T'Challa. It is very important to recast T'Challa. We need that black king on that throne. Now, don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong with having a black queen on that throne. But T'Challa's story was just getting started. And you guys are going to end it due to the unfortunate and untimely death of Chadwick Boseman. Which is not fair to the fans. And why can't you hire his big brother to play him? They don't look that different. They really don't. And that's what makeup is for. As an actor, I know how makeup works. God knows I probably need some myself to cover this scar on my nose. But you can't see it because of the lighting in here, which is good. But, you know, you you have to understand, he is a character. Chadwick Boseman was the actor, and a great actor he was, but he was not the real live T'Challa. And that's where people seem to not have their lines and their morals crossed. He's an actor. We can honor him by letting someone else fill the character's shoes, not Chadwick Boseman's shoes. Okay? That being said, I am Echo Fan Grey Wolf. This is Kung Fu Ever number two. When you see me again, I'll be Miguel O'Hara. Be seeing ya.